child can memorize facts the same way. Some need a visual, some need a chant, but you can really pinpoint down to a student's own strategy that works for them and benefits them. If I put the number seven up here, I push into classrooms and I assist teachers in teaching math to the students and sometimes I can pull students out so that we can reach the needs of all the students. Today, math interventional specialist Melissa Palermo is teaming up with third grade teacher Donald Benedict. We want them to see a ceiling and reach for that ceiling every time. Those are two pretty big numbers, huh? Blairmo's kid-friendly, small group, visual approach has helped School 25 achieve some of the best state scores in the district. She's constantly in communication with us, whether email, phone, in person, I, she's there whenever we need it. And it's not just specific to this classroom, it's really any classroom in the building. And she's just creates such a love for learning for these students and also helps us as professionals get to a higher level and better our teaching. When we work together and plan together, we can really sit down and look at the data and look at where the kids' strengths are versus where their weaknesses are and really pinpoint our instruction to their needs. What does this look like in math that you guys have worked with? Our students love math. I think when the teachers have a strong, powerful energy about math and love it and you know have the energy while teaching it, it really goes into the students. They need to know math and I think that when we can get kids to enjoy math, and want to perform in math, I don't think there's a better um, feeling for the teachers.